The concept of set serves as a fundamental part of the present-day mathematics. Today, this concept is being used in almost every branch of mathematics. Sets are used to define the concepts of relations and functions. The study of geometry, sequences, probability, and the others requires the knowledge of sets. The theory of sets was developed by German mathematician George Cantor. He first encountered sets while working on problems on trigonometric series. This video discusses the introduction to set theory. Welcome to Mathematics of Engineering. In everyday life, we often speak of collections of objects of a particular kind, such as a pack of cards, crowd of people, or even a basketball team. In mathematics, we also come across collections, for example, of natural numbers, points, prime numbers, and the others. More especially, we examine the following collections. Add natural numbers less than 10, that is, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, or various kinds of triangles and the vowels in the English alphabet namely A, E, I, O, and U. We note that each of the examples is a well-defined collection of objects in the sense that we can definitely decide whether a given particular object belongs to a given collection or not. We give below a few more examples of sets used particularly in mathematics and for the set of all natural numbers, z, the set of all integers, q, the set of all rational numbers, r, the set of real numbers, z plus, the set of positive integers, q plus, the set of positive rational numbers, and r plus, the set of positive real numbers. The symbols for the special sets given above will be referred to throughout our discussion. We shall say that a set is a well-defined collection of objects. The following points may be noted. First, objects, elements, and members of a set are synonymous terms. That is, we can use objects, elements, or members interchangeably in our discussion. Second, sets are usually denoted by capital letters such as A, B, C, D, and all the other capital letters. Thirdly, the elements of a set are represented by small letters, also A, B, C, D, and all other small letters. If A is an element of a set A, we say that A belongs to A. The Greek symbol epsilon is used to denote the phrase belongs to. Thus, we can write it as A epsilon A. If B is not an element of a set A, we write it as such, and we can read it as B does not belong to A. Thus, in a set of V of vowels in the English alphabet, we can say that A belongs to V, but B does not belong to V. There are two methods of representing a set. First is the roster or tabular form. In roster form, all the elements of a set are listed, the elements are being separated by commas and are enclosed within braces. For example, the set of all even positive integers less than 7. This would be described in roster form as 2, 4, 6, separated with commas within braces. Moreover, the set of all natural numbers, which are factors of 42, will be as follows. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, and 42, separated by commas and within braces. Take note that in roster form, the order in which the elements are listed is immaterial. Thus, you can have them interchanged. Another, it may be noted that while writing the set in roster form, an element is not generally repeated. That is, all the elements are taken as distinct. In set builder form, 
all the elements of a set possess a single common property which is not possessed by any other element outside the set. For example, in the set A, E, I, O, U, all the elements possess a common property, namely, each of them is a vowel in the English alphabet, and no other letter possess this property. Denoting this set by V, we can write it as It may be observed that we describe the element of the set by using a symbol X. Any other symbol like the letters Y, Z, or the others could be used. And this is followed by a colon. After the sign of the colon, we write the characteristic property possessed by the elements of the set and then enclose the whole description within braces. The above description of the set V is read as the set of all X such that X is a vowel of the English alphabet. In this description, the braces stand for the set of all, the colon stands for such that. From our previous example, the set of all even positive integers less than 7 can be written in set builder form as such, which could be read as the set of x where x is an even positive integer and it lies between 0 and 7. Another example, this could be read as the set of all x such that x is a natural number and x lies between 3 and 10. The answer would be in roster form 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Example 1. Write the solution set of the equation x squared plus x less 2 is equal to 0 in roster form. From the given equation, this can be written down as x less 1 times x plus 2 is equal to 0, where we can solve x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 2. Therefore, the solution set of the given equation can be written in roster form as braces 1, comma, negative 2. Example 2. Write the x for all x such that x is a positive integer and x squared is less than 40 in roster form. There are two conditions defining the set. One, that all elements should be positive integers, and two, the equation x squared should be less than 40. From this equation, we would have our conclusion that the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 would have their squares less than 40. So, in roster form, we can write them as braces 1, comma, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Example 3. Write the set A, which is equal to 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25, and so forth, in set builder form. We may write the set A as set of all x such that x is the square of a natural number. Alternatively, we can write it as set of x where x is equal to n squared where n belongs to n. For example 4, how do we write this roster form in the set builder form? We see that each member in the given set has the numerator one less than the denominator. Also, the numerator begin from 1 and do not exceed 6. Hence, in the set builder form, the given set is given as set of all x such that x is equal to n all over n plus 1, where n is a natural number and x is between 1 and 6.